Hey, so y'all, I just realized something, and I noticed this when I was at work today. I don't know what made me think this, but I was just observing, and I noticed something. I noticed pretty girls that have any type of black admixture in gets hated on the most by people. Um, she could be Spanish, white. If they're pretty, they're not going to get hated on as much as a person with any black admixture in them. Mixed race people, you can think of people like Tyler right now going through it for no reason at all. The unnecessary hate is real. Um, and she's only like a percentage black. She's not even, she's mixed with other things, but because she has that black part in her, I feel like that's why people harass her. If she wasn't, if she didn't have any black in her, if she was just Indian and what's the other one she's mixed with? I don't know if she's mixed with white. But if she was just white and Indian, people wouldn't be... I honestly feel like people wouldn't be hating on her as hard. Um, this is just something I've noticed throughout my life. Um, whether you're full black, if you're half black, a quarter black, you're going to get hated on the most. And I don't know what it is. And I think it's honestly a lot of projection. Because it comes from a lot of black people mainly anyway um especially unambiguous people they tend to project onto people with black admixture in them and i i don't know where it comes from well i think i do because projection usually when you hate something about yourself you're gonna hate it in another person that's the only thing i can think of i have other pretty girls at my job but they're not I'm the only black pretty girl. And, um... Because there was another pretty girl that she was uh, Spanish, I think. And she was just as feminine as I was. All of that. But people liked her. People talked to her. The unambiguous people, uh, the unambiguous girls, women at my job talked to her. Just fine. But with me, no, 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 no. There's this one girl. I think I always tell you guys about her. Um, She's... I think I had a bitch losing weight. Let's, let me just say that. She's been in secret competition with me since I started this job. And I noticed her losing weight and stuff. She's always looking at me with a mean mug. You know how you can look at the side of your eyes, like your uh, side vision or whatever. Sometimes I be peeping her just staring me down. I'm like, but you know, I'm learning how to take people's hate as energy, as fuel to level up. And just to do better and to un- remember I am that bitch because, I mean, what's, what is your problem with me? You literally, I'm literally the only person she doesn't talk to in the entire building. That's crazy to me. She even talks to deaf people, y'all. I seen her the other day talking to a deaf, a guy who can't even hear. And she was joking and laughing with him. As soon as I walked by, mm, mean mug. Mm, she gave me that look. She's acting like like lord but she's always secretly looking at me though it's weird it's really weird but she's always been in competition with me every time somebody's talking to me she'll interrupt them talking to me and start talking to them but she's extra loud about these things she needs the attention that i get without speaking but she has to make a lot of noise to get attention. People come up to me, I don't have to say anything. And she sees that too. I think that's another reason why she's upset with me because I steal the attention. And I don't even try to steal the attention. I literally, I have my earphones in. We're allowed to wear earphones at my job. I wear my earphones and I mind my business. But people come up to me and just try to start conversations with me and want to get to know me. I had a dude that was pressed to get to know me. Like, he's new to the job. A white boy who thinks he's black type of guy. That's his aesthetic. And I always peeped him staring at me. You know, you know how somebody, you could tell when somebody wants to talk to you, but they're either nervous, something stopping them. That was happening to him for like the last couple of weeks. He's new. Up until today, we had an assignment where we had to work together. So I noticed he was extra excited to talk to me. So people are just extra excited to talk to me. I don't have to say anything. I just exist. And then I think that makes her feel some type of way. And it's not just her, but she's like my biggest one right now. Because she's so obvious. 
that's it everybody else is like is it in my head but with her it's not in my head it's not and another reason it has to do with a guy that she liked that liked me y'all already know how that goes so it was one of those things she just do not fuck with me i ain't do nothing to her and i'm always nice when she has to walk past me i say excuse me we help i help her with things she's just so petty to me though but it's not gonna change my heart it's not but people think i'm mixed race like shit at my job and i'm monoracial i actually did another dna test i'm waiting for the kit to come in the mail right now my heritage.com is having a sale you can get a kit for like 40 bucks right now so and i feel like my last test wasn't accurate so i'm gonna get my results this time and see what they say because you know when i look at myself i do not see a black person's face the only thing black about me is the little bit of melanin in my skin. You know, that literally gives me away. But not even that, because I'm the same color as the Mexican people at my job. But uh, the only thing that will give me away is my hair texture, and that's straightened. So uh, people who straight up think I'm mixed race, I mean, my nose is keen. I have keen features like shit. Like, when I say I look like Holly Bailey, like, the only thing different about me and her is even our skin complexion is the same. Literally, the only thing different about me and her is probably our noses. I don't know, but yeah, we look similar. But that's all I really want to say. This is a quick video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time.